Do you know what the keeper of the Privy Purse does? They look after the pennies in the royal household for the monarch and other members of the royal family. They also keep a keen eye on major agricultural estates and commercial activities. The first person to take charge was Henry Norris in 1526 for Henry VIII. Back in 1921, this was the Right Honourable Sir Frederick Ponsonby. The keeper of the Privy Purse is a job still held today. Do you know what the Piper to the Sovereign does? They get up with the birds to play the bagpipes outside the Sovereign's window at 9am for 15 minutes and also on state occasions. Back in 1843, Queen Victoria fancied getting her own Piper after learning that the Marquess of Bradlebane had one. In the 1921 census, the King's Piper, as it was known then, was Henry Forsyth, a married chap from Edinburgh. You can still find the Piper to the Sovereign piping away today. Do you know what the Warden of the Swans does? This fun-sounding job originated in medieval times and was known as the Keeper of the King or Queen's Swans, Swanherd or Swanmaster. Post holders had to mark and health check all the swans every year, known as swan In 1921, the lucky chap in charge was Thomas Abnett. In 1993, the role was abolished and replaced with the Warden of the Swans and the Marker of the Swans. Do you know what the Astronomer Royal does? They advise the monarch on astronomical and scientific matters. Being the Astronomer Royal is kind of a big deal and is a senior post in the royal household. Charles II created the first Astronomer Royal back in 1675, found in the Royal Observatory at Greenwich at the same time. Back in 1921, Frank Watson Dyson was the one in charge of searching the stars for the King, living at the Royal Observatory. Find out if your ancestor held a quirky job in the royal household with Found My Past. Where will your past take you?